Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to conclude the last 16 round. Wow, this tournament's flying by, isn't it? I mean, next next week we'll do the quarter-final round. We'll finish that next week and we may... Yeah, we may even do the semi-final next week as well. Actually, in theory, I could get the tournament done next week. Because when I do the quarter-final round, it will be two two matches per video. So that'll, be t that'll be basically be Monday, Tuesday. And then, well, it'd be just one semi-final match per video, so it'd be Wednesday, Thursday, and then the final. Third place playoff in the final could be Friday. So, yeah. Oh, it's hype, isn't it? We're actually going to finish the tournament next week. But anyway, back to the last 16 round. And we have two matches here, with Lepoke taking on the champions team, and Maximum Pyrus going up against the hosts. Without further ado, let's get on with the first match. Right, Deho, up first for Lepoke, we have an Albertosaurus. Oh, Lepoke definitely looked dead and buried in the group stage, but out of nowhere has snatched a place in the knockout rounds and has got to the last 16. But can they continue their impressive form and book a quarter final place? It's going to be tough because in the blue corner, we have the only bot team left in the tournament, the champions team's Mapusaurus, the winner of the fire tournament. A creature, that, a dinosaur that never died once in the fire tournament. And we definitely saw what it can do in the last 32 round against Ibuki. It was quite mightily impressive. Hmm. No, I'm just thinking, looking at it, maybe I could have used the Kakirodontosaurus model instead. No, when I made Makusaurus for Jurassic World Evolution, I used the Giga model. But looking at the skull, maybe Cochirodontosaurus would suit it better. Hmm. An interesting, an interesting proposition. Ooh. Good start from Lepoke, but the champions team responds with their first attack. And there's the technique boost. Oop, and here comes a hit stun dash from the Mapusaurus. Boosh. Yes, Mapusaurus was quite the um was a breakthrough for me because it it was the, the skin I realised that maybe I could do like multiple skins on the same dinosaur. Obviously now we can make new species, so I don't have to do that. Anyway, back to this match, the Albertosaurus striking back with a crit, and here comes a Flare Sword, which will probably even the, even the score here. Oh, well, it'll give Lepoke a very slight lead. But it's definitely been a fierce contest so far, with the Mapusaurus giving Champions Team a 1-0 lead. Right, as for Lepoke's second dino, we have an Albertoceratops. If the Alberta Ceratops can get past this Mapusaurus, it will have a type advantage against the Champions Team's second item. Bang, ding, ding, But we all know how mighty this Mapusaurus can be. And yet, yeah, here comes our hit. And that sound you just heard meant that this move is going to do a bit more damage because the Mapusaurus is reform type. Shlippy slap. Yep, just like that. And just like that, the Alberta Ceratops loses half its HP. And just like that, the Mapusaurus bites the dust. Lepoke even in the score, but the Alberta Ceratops did take a beating, so it won't be as difficult to defeat for the Spinosaurus. The winner of the Water Washout Tournament. Can the Champions team go further in? Actually, yeah, if the Champions team win this, it'll be the furthest the bot team has ever gotten. Because the Eocarcaria team made it to the last 16. But obviously, that tournament had less players, so the first knockout round was the last 16. Oh, another tie. Ties will suit the Spino more. 
However, that will suit the Obertoceratops more. Here comes a Thunder Driver. Big damage coming Spino's way. Ooh, could have done with a Lightning Axe there, just to add more damage. Ooh, how costly could it be? No Lightning Axe, it might have been lethal, but instead... Oh, it didn't take it out. But Spino gets off the hit and recovers a bit of that health. Despite having the type advantage, the Spino is holding his own. Well, until Lightning Spear happened, and this will pretty much certainly kill the Spino because Alberta Ceratops has quite good crit damage, and it has the type advantage as I said, so... Yep, the Spinosaurus is biting the big one. Okay, as for the, as for the Champions Team's third Dino, we have a Pachycephalosaurus. <laughs> the winner of the Secret Showdown Tournament. Winning, winning using the synergetic combos of tie attack and tie breaker. And mixed with the fact there is tie type. However, despite the Alberta Ceratops giving the poker 2 win lead, the champion team instantly evens the score. Alright, as for Lapoke's third dino, we have a Wapacephalus. And someone might be making this skin for Jurassic World Evolution, hint him. <laughs> no, it, it, looking at it, it looks, looks, looks like it's going to be another tough skin. Oh, the patterns are a bit all over the place. I've done the model, it's just the, the skin i got to do. But yeah, this one's probably going to be one of my more tougher ones to make. Okay. Ooh, a crit from the Pachycephalosaurus. Wow, not much damage done. Oh, the Pachycephalosaurus getting off another head. Boosh. The champion's team looking good. Oh, come on, let her poke out a head. Make it interesting. Okay, the poke finally gets off a hit, and it's a crit, and an earth barrier here would come in very handy. Ooh, he gets off an earth barrier. The poke turning things around. And I don't think a hit from the Pachycephalosaurus will finish the job now. Oh, however, that tie will mean that the earth barrier will not matter. But, ooh, is this lethal? A Quake Saber from the Uopacephalus has Lepoke snatched this. Oh, he has! Well, well, well. Here's me counting Lepoke out. They snatch the match with a Quake Saber and eliminates the Champions Team. Which means the Champions Team failed. Failed at breaking the record for the furthest any bot team has reached. But they were still mightily impressive, so couldn't expect anything less than the champions team. But yep, yeah, it is an animation for them, and it is a quarter final for La Poke. Right. Oh, oops. Right. Now the fun begins with the final match of the last 16. Right, here we go. In this matchup, we see Maximum and Pyrus taking on the host Stranger. And I'm quite nervous for this one, because in another video I did say that I had a type advantage over all his team and I should win, but I don't know now. Thinking about it, he does. there are like stipulations where I think he does have a chance to win. Anyway, in the red blue corner for myself, we have the Alpha Chasmosaurus. So as I said, in this matchup, I do have the type advantage over the um, Shunasaurus, but the Shunasaurus does have Ocean Panic, so... If there are ties, then that would probably suit Maximum Pyrus more. Especially if he gets off an Ocean Panic, because then that'll pretty much mean he'll get off another. So I wouldn't say this is an opening, this is a closed case. I still think there is stipulations where Maximum Pyrus can win, but given the matchups, I think you'd have to be quite lucky to win. Oh well, there's the opening hit from the Chasmosaurus. 
There's that type advantage there, doing extra damage to the Shuno. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, no ocean panic though, but there's the blunder type, nullifying that electric charge. Tie suiting Shunosaurus more. Ooh, the Shunosaurus getting off a Hydro Cutter. Despite the type disadvantage, this should do a decent amount of damage. Oh, wow. Almost killed me. Well, it wouldn't say almost killed me, but got me in the red. Oh, there's a tie. Oh, the shooter sucks. Well, well, well. Oh my god, did get it. And I got a counter blitz off as well, so even if he gets a hit, he's not going to kill me. Oh, wow. Oh, but Pyrus getting lucky there with a the tie. Wow, they definitely had a bit of luck there because they only got one hit and they still took him down in the red. Alright, as for Stranger's second dino, we have a Mega Raptor. And with the type advantage gone, the Shunosaurus does have a chance here. And I'd probably say, yeah, Pyrus does have an op opportunity here to land some damage and make it easier for the Lanzusaurus when and if it comes in. I say if because I've only got one hit in this bloody match so far. Well, I, say, I said Pyrus needed to be lucky in this match, and so far, yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. You give me a hit. The Shunosaurus biting the dust, but it did do damage to the Mega Raptor. So this Lantusaurus won't have too much work to do. And I'd probably say if he gets a crit and another hit off, I think that would kill Mega Raptor. But all I need is probably two hits, and I'll kill the Lantusaurus and. The Mayfly will be triggered. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> we both went for it then. That's a tie, but again, that will suit the Lanzusaurus more. However, this will suit Mega Raptor. Wow, even with a type advantage, it didn't do that much damage. Ooh, oh, we both went paper again. Wow, this is actually a close game. Oh, oh, until Mayfly happened. And that will be curtains for Lanzusaurus. Wow, type advantage is an absolute killer. Lanzusaurus biting the big one, but the type advantage will now become... Pyrus's because as for their third dino, we have a Gigas, the Spectral Armor Gigas. The Goma moveset there works for Goma, so it could so it could still work for Pyrus. I'll give Pyrus credit; he's def definitely put up more of a fight than I expected. But yeah, look at the type of van, it's barely a scratch on Gigas. But, you know, I am chipping away at him. We don't want a Mayfly going off there, because that will do damage. Oh, that's another tie. But I'll probably suit the Mega Raptor more, because it will wear down Gigas' health. However, the Gigas does get off a crit, which will end the Mega Raptor's days, and even the score. Which means it's all coming down to this. As for Stranger's third dino, we have a Super Baryonyx. Again, it will have the type advantage over that Gigas, but if Gigas gets off a Spectral Lancer, that will not matter. Actually, how fill... Oh, the bar's quite fill. I think two more hits or ties will fill that bar up, so I think we are going to see Spectral Armor. Ooh, Geiger's getting off the crit. I might be in trouble. I'm actually in a bit of trouble here. Oh, and the poison as well. It's once. I'm actually in a bit of trouble. Oh, dear. I I'm in huge trouble. I just realized. I might lose. All right, go ahead. Uh, spec codes. 
I just realized I'm in I'm in huge trouble here. I might I might actually lose. All, all the things I said that the ways pirates could win this match have happened. Oh my god. Please please get please get a shockwave off. Oh my god, I'm lost! Well, 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 if um, if you were all betting I'd win the tournament again, you're wrong. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, because you get the poison off as well. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely shell-shocked. How many hits did I get off in that match? Well, my Barry didn't even get a hit. My Mega Raptor got, what, two hits off? And my Casmo got a hit off. No, my Mega Raptor got like three hits off. My Casmo got one hit off. Yeah, I got four hits off in the whole match. And how many hits did he get off? He got one, two, three. Well, more hits than I did, so yeah. The luck definitely. <laughs> I feel it was just unlucky because he got way more hits off than I did and so many ties as well, which helped them. So it's everything I said that could happen, that would have to happen for him to win the match, happened. Well, and on the bright side, at least we'll have a different winner this time. And it's not going to be me. <laughs> oh, you know what that means now. <laughs> you know that motivates me to do another tournament now. <laughs> and I, I should I should address that because a lot of people have asked me if I'm gonna do another tournament and I am gonna do another tournament, but not anytime soon. However, I do have a deal for you all. How about this? If you if I get to a thousand subscribers before the start of August I will do another tournament. How about that? So if I get to a thousand subscribers, I'll do another tournament. I'll start it in September. And I should be finished just before Christmas. How's that for a slice of fried gold? And if you don't get me to a thousand subscribers, I'll probably still do it anyway, but I'll, I'll do the tournament anyway, but I won't do it till next year. Um, well, yeah. I, 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 I'm still shocked. I, I, I didn't see that coming. I don't think anyone looking at our matchup would have saw that coming. Like, everything that happened that needed to happen for Pyrus to win happened. <sighs> like, I bet I played that match about another nine times and I probably would win every time. Wow. That, that is upset. That has to be the upset of the tournament. I, that is an upset. Hands down. You know, you can't argue against it. That was an upset. That you go into a match where you have the type advantage over, over your opponent's whole team. It's, it's not really an excuse for you to lose. I mean, I know you could say, well, he had the spectral armor and that's the only reason he won. And, I'd probably say, yeah, if he didn't have the Spectral Armor, I probably still would have pulled the weight and got enough hits off to win. Because I think all I needed was one hit with the Barry, and I probably would have got Shockwave off, which would have meant I would have got another hit. And if there was a tie, well, he had Heat Eruption, so he would have got off Heat Eruption, which would have been more likely than me getting off Ocean Panic. But, you know, if I get off, even if I had got off one Shockwave, I probably would have won the match. But there we are. Um, I'm just going to say, well done to Maximum Pyrus. You should be proud of yourself. I don't I don't think you're gonna win the tournament, but you should be proud of yourself. And yet, here's our quarterfinal matches. We'll have Ultimate Dino Queen take on Nopi, Slifer Sky Dragon X against Lausp, Ultimate Dino King against Darius, and Lapoke against Maximum Pyrus. And with me out, that definitely opens up the tournament now. I think it could be anyone's. I think anyone here can win. I'd probably say Laus. Ultimate, Queen, Nopi. I'd probably say those four are the favourites. 
But other than that, yeah, I think it's wide open now. So hope you enjoyed this session. And as I said, stay tuned for next time where we'll kick off a quarterfinal without me. And this is Stranger Gamer signing out. <laughs>